The bigger I got, the less I was able to do, the angrier I became. And I just took it out on the kids. I didn't like myself. I didn't like who I was becoming. And I didn't know why. I mean, I knew I was big, but I didn't realize that was why I didn't like myself. It was the early 2000s. I was working. It was raining out. I was coming down some work stairs and I slipped. I tried saving myself and uh, I just threw my back out. It was very painful and difficult to move. It was in the lower back. I did return to work light duty after uh, several weeks and doing another assignment, I hurt myself once again, but this time the upper back. From that point on, I couldn't do anything. I mean, I couldn't, things would fall on the ground. I couldn't pick them up. If it wasn't from the waist up, I couldn't do it. I remember one time I complained to my wife that uh, she was shrinking my pants. I thought she was shrinking them in the wash. And that's when I first realized that I was gaining weight. I would eat more, which would put more pressure on my back, which would cause more pain. My spine started fusing to alleviate the pain. So now, now I have very little mobility. Um, bending and moving. I fluctuated between uh, 300 and, and 410. Going into the doctor's offices, I mean, they, they obviously all said, you need to lose weight. It'll help alleviate the pain on your back. And they give you the little pyramid, the food pyramid, and say, here, eat this. I don't want to hear about a little pyramid and food rations or portions. I wanted to eat. I started becoming resentful because I couldn't be the man that I was supposed to be, the father, the husband, just an all around man that I was supposed to be. And it started taking its toll on, on me mentally. And as the years went on, the more I hurt, the angrier I got, and the more I took it out on my family. My comfort was food, so I would just eat more, which didn't help but hurt the problem. The cycle just continued over and over again. I became angrier. I was pushing people away because I just didn't want them to be like me, to end up like me. My son, he was severely hurt coming home on a school bus. He was very athletic at the time, and that was our life. He would, uh, he would go to school, come home, do his homework, eat dinner, and then we were off to the gym for him. When he got hurt like this, our lives turned overnight. So on top of everything, depression hit for both of us. My lowest point was when I saw my son tip the scales at 305, and he was 15 at the time. That's, that's when reality hit, and I realized I had to do something for, for my son. I didn't want them to be like me. And here he is at 305, at 15. That, that, was, that was my lowest point, knowing that I failed. There was no plan. I just went home and I threw out all our food. I, I threw out everything. My son was scared. He thought I was mad at him when in fact, that was me trying to save him. Looking back now, I would say it was easy because it wasn't even, you know, should I do this, shouldn't I do it? It just had to be done. At that time, I was 4'10". My son was 305. I mean, we, we were two big boys. I tried walking to my apartment complex gym, but I would get winded because there was a slight uphill. So, so I would drive there and just get on the treadmills. And I tried doing that every day. And when nobody else was in the gym, I would, uh, I would go and I'd start messing with, with the weight machines. I just didn't want anybody to, to see me because I didn't feel strong. I, I don't know, it's a little ego deflating when, when you have to, you know, put just 100 pounds on a uh, bench press machine as a grown man. So I, I did all that stuff alone. And, um, but I didn't touch the weights until I was under 300 pounds. 
you want it to happen quick and and it doesn't it's um but looking back now you know it, it took two decades to put on the weight so losing it in 18 months is pretty good when people look at me now it's for different reasons before it was laughing at me you know behind my back and and now people look and you know they don't they they just they don't know what's happened there is no such thing as a diet i mean when when people say diet the average person says well i'm going to start today and end when i lose 10 pounds or you, you know i'll do it for two months and then they go back to their old habits you have to change that that way of thinking it's it's a lifestyle i don't believe in you know making a, a a certain date you know i'll start february 1st or or let's make it for new year's i mean if you're going to do it do it today don't wait don't make excuses you, you know well i have to get rid of the food in the house or the holidays are coming up just do it you're doing it for you you don't you don't need to to plan it just start it and if i could do it anybody could do it <laughs>